Beckham in Chinese may look a little different. His fans, though, well, it seems they're the same the world over. Like David Beckham? Yeah! And Victoria? No! <laughs> Bingham! Lao Fu Ma Lao Bingham! They gathered from dawn for his hotel arrival. We love Bingham! We love David! Then the madness. <laughs> the Beckham bandwagon arrives in Beijing. Hello, David. Welcome to China. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah. This is all about the two things Bex is best at, football and brand Beckham. Happy to be here. And so at a city centre high school, the only man who can pull this off in a suit did. A kick around with students whose day is now made. And if anyone were in any doubt about his popularity over here, just look at all this. Bex is here at the invitation of the Chinese Super League, the first of a number of visits designed to help improve the image of a game which in China has had its problems and to encourage children to get involved. There was certainly plenty at his afternoon news conference where he refused to be drawn on China's match-fixing scandal or how much they're paying him. Instead, he stuck to the easier questions. My favourite Chinese food. I love noodles. My children oh. love noodles, so mm. I eat a lot of noodles. Oh, me too. Mm. Good. Surely, though, this is a bit about business too. Yeah, there's a huge market in China uh, that both you and your wife can uh, throw yourselves into. This trip is nothing to do with the brand. This trip is about the development of the game for young children and for the league, and that's why I'm here. And if pushed, will you play in China? If pushed, I wouldn't have to be pushed to play here. His contract in Paris is up in just five months. And back outside, you can't help wondering whether he really might be considering a move over here. It's an absolute stampede. Yes, this is about football, but look at all these people. Absolutely thrilled to see David Beckham. This is about much more than football. This is brand Beckham at its best. And it'll be like this wherever he goes for the next four days. Mark Stone, Sky News in Beijing.